Hi everyone, welcome. We're gonna give it a minute, make sure everyone can hear us and see us and give everyone a chance to get online. Sometimes computers don't like to work nice when you have so many gadgets attached to it. So when you can hear us, say hi. When you can see us, say hi. This is our sixth August Mania class, our last one, which has been a lot of fun and a lot of information. I think I'm gonna have a quiz at the end. <laughs> see? That's a really great idea. I like that. Yeah. See what everyone liked the most, what everyone learned the most. Okay, we're gonna get started. Yes, we are ready. This presentation is called Animal Sense. Oils are for pets too. My name is Sheree Patton. I'm an independent distributor for Young Living. Like I said, this is our sixth August Mania class this month. Um, and this is a first time class for me, teaching about pets. But we like to meet you where you're at. And we were requested for pet information. And so we used our resources and we used books and we found the information that you wanted. So I'm gonna do a little recap and first, I'm going to tell you what these crazy things called essential oils are. So essential oils are the life-giving essence distilled from aromatic plants. They carry oxygen, nutrients, and waste into and out of the plant. They are all naturally antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antitumorial, and anti-inflammatory. They are the immune system of the plant. Researchers have found that plant oils are very similar to human blood and animal blood. The oils that protect the plants can do the same for humans and animals. In the Essential Oils 101, we go over this a little bit more in depth, but I believe in knowing what you're using. And so this is um, my short version of what essential oils are. In our Essential Oils 101, we decided that whether applied topically, ingested, or inhaled, essential oils will enter the bloodstream. So if you think about the birth control patch, or the, the non-smoking patch, or lotion, or creams, anything that's applied to your skin, all of those work because they go into your bloodstream. Uh, if we all walked around with lotion sitting on top of our skin, we would look a little funny. Uh, so it has to be absorbed. So things that are applied to our skin are absorbed straight into our bloodstream. So we want to be careful what we put on our skin. As well as be, you know, breathe in. I'm allergic to olive trees. I don't have to eat an olive tree to have an allergic reaction. I just have to smell it. Uh, so these things are bombarding us every day and entering our bloodstream. And so in this particular situation, I want to think about our little animals. Think about how small their body is and um, how much quickly the blood can become clogged and inflammation can happen. And we want to protect their little bodies as well as horses and bigger animals um, from things that could harm them. So, not only will essential oils enter the bloodstream, but everything else you will use as well. So, your animal shampoo that says not for internal use is being used internally. Um, and those, you know, Lysol cleaners and other cleaners that say keep out of reach of animals and children, they're being used internally because they're being breathed in. So, through Young Living, we have a very uh, safe product that can be applied topically. Um, breathed in and taken internally. So this is my disclosure. Young Living Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils can be used on many different kind of animal species from the smallest, I used to have chickens, to the largest, including reptiles, birds, fish, and mammals. The information in this presentation is based on the use of 100% pure Young Living Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils due to their high quality and tested purity. The use the use of a brand of uncertain quality and or purity will provide you with potentially dangerous, if not lethal, results. Young Living essential oils are effective and do not produce harmful side effects. Uh, take your animal for a regular veterinarian checkups and proper diagnosis. I am not a doctor. I am not a vet. I have used uh, this book, Essential Oils and Pets, as well as uh, No Vet for My Pet, to come up with this presentation, but I am not your vet and you need to um, trust him as well. So how do we use these crazy essential oils? So uh, animals are different, very different. So you can apply on the paws where absorption is fast, fastest, 
on hoof animals apply on the tips of the ears and or spine. Underneath the lip, on the gums or the tongue, and sprinkle a few drops on the spine and then massage into the skin. You can also use oils internally with animals, uh, just like with, with us. You can put into a capsule and mix into their food. With large animals, you can put it, again, right on the gums. When treating the animals with essential oils internally, make certain the oils are pure and free of chemicals like Young Living oils. You can also use Vitaflex points. I thought this chart was so cute. So um, I know a lot of you are familiar with the Vitaflex points on our feet and doggies have them too. Um, this is a great little brochure, Oil and Pets by Dr. Mary Hess. And the Vitaflex points are in here in a little bit more depth as well as in her book. Uh, so those are just some ways that you can use your essential oils on animals. Now one thing that animals have that humans aren't as sensitive to is dilution ratios. Again, uh, this brochure right here goes into per pound what the dilution ratio is. So if they're under 10 pounds or if they're about 75 pounds or a horse which is over 150 pounds. So you want to be sure when you're using your essential oils that you check um, one of your reference guides for your dilution ratios. So for small animals, it's about 80 to 90% per oil um, application. Think about the percentage um, that they weigh compared to you. <laughs> uh, a cat could very easily be 5-10% of your body weight. For larger animals, um, you can apply them neat, which just means without a carrier oil. And for cattle and horses, uh, you're going to want to use a lot more drops because they can weigh 10 times your, your body weight. Uh, and then there's a little bit tip down there. Avoid using oils that contain valerin as it will build up in the animal system. There is another animal book called the Animal Desk Reference, and all of this information is in there as well. So at the end, we will show you what the covers of those three books I've mentioned look like so that you can be sure to check them before you use oils on your animals. Treating an injured animal with your oils. I had no idea they really made donkey thermometers. <laughs> um, for viral bacterial infection, arthritis, or bone injury, use the same oils and protocol recommended for humans with the added dilution ratio. So if my kids um, have, or if me, myself, have arthritis, I'm going to use Panaway and Peppermint but uh, if my dog had arthritis, I would use the same. I would just dilute it. When applying to large open wounds or hard reach areas, put the oils in a spray bottle and spray them directly on location. After an oil application to an open wound, cover the wound with animal sense ointment. So we're going to go into that ointment a little bit. Take special care not to get essential oils in the animal's eyes, just like our eyes. Our eyes are a sensitive part of our body, and it's going to sting a little bit. Uh, it does get better after a couple minutes, but I don't think you want to do that to your dog. Um, make sure the animal is drinking pure water and make sure that they're getting proper nutrition health. We teach in our beautiful vibrancy class that the core foundation for everything is proper nutritional health and vitamins. And when you have the proper vitamins and minerals, you're less likely to become ill or have a compromised immune system. Uh, <clears throat> one day last year, my pastor shared how much stories uh, stories impact people and that stories move people and that stories get passed on and passed on. So I have told you that we have three animal reference guides that we use, but now I'm going to tell you some stories because people remember stories and they remember the characters in the stories and how to use it. So this is a testimonial, kennel cough gone in a day with peppermint. We adopted a one pound chihuahua when he was eight weeks old. He had severe kennel cough 24 hours a day and couldn't sleep. I applied peppermint to my hams and petted him from the neck down over the course of two days. In 24 hours, the cough was clearly sporadic rather than constant. By the second day, it was completely gone and Gus was sleeping through the night. Pretty amazing uh, to go from 24 hours to completely gone. Uh, peppermint is another one that I use for a cough on humans as well. And so that is one of those situations where it was a large dog and so she didn't have to dilute it but I have heard the most uh, effective way for dogs are to pet from the head down the back. Here's another one, pretty amazing. 
Uh, this is large tumor disappears on Humane Society dog in three weeks. So they used frankincense, helichrysum, grapefruit, and lavender. This is Michael and Connie McDaniel. They are crown diamonds, royal crown diamonds through Young Living um, Essential Oils. And so you can see that they, they had confidence to use it on their pet. I'm sure they took them to a vet first to figure out what was going on. And so you can see here that she's applying it right to the spot. Frankincense has a lot of studies um, on its antitumorial properties. So that's a pretty amazing story. Sarah, don't you, doesn't a friend of yours have a story too about? Yeah, she uses um, frankincense and Ninksha Red. Ninksha Red. Mm -hmm. So one of our team members uses frankincense and Ninksha Red on their dogs for their tumor and it's significantly gone down in size. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, here's another story. Our dogs used to get ear infections, so we started diffusing these oil blend every morning in the kennel. As a result, the dogs have not suffered from ear infections again. My cat, Whitey, recently had a bad infection in the gum around its molars on both sides. I took three drops of these and diluted it in about six tablespoons of V6. I dipped a Q-tip into the mix and swabbed the gum area twice a day for about a week. He is eating again with no discomfort whatsoever and the infection is gone. I've included here an image of our Thieves collection. Not only is it favorite collection for us as moms and adults, we love this collection. It is a great collection to have on hand for animals. Using the mouthwash and the toothpaste can both be used on your animals. Um, rubbing the mouthwash with your finger on the teeth and a few drops in the water will help protect against tartar and diffusing thieves. And then also, if you spray the thieves household clean around cages, it will keep flies away. So we actually used to keep clean our chicken coop with the thieves household cleaner. And the gnats and the flies and the bugs just kind of stayed away. Uh, and it was nice because they were there and they were present and the chickens were fine. They were actually probably benefited from spraying with the thieves household cleaner. But I remember, back when we weren't aware of the toxins in our house, I remember the dog having to go outside when we would clean our house. Like, if it's not safe for them, how is it safe for us? <laughs> and so it's so nice that um, we can mop and we can clean and we can clean their kennel with the thieves household cleaner and they can look away and breathe it in and if anything, we are benefiting them. So this is a really phenomenal collection, especially uh, for animals. And again, another story. So this was a dog. You can see the teeth marks in the first picture. I use lavender once a day for the first few days and then purification the last day. You can see the before and after in the pictures. This is day one and this is day five. So in five days, the bite marks were gone. Um, and it's nice because you know dogs and other animals look themselves. And so you don't wanna be putting something on them that's not supposed to be used internally. And so in this situation, we were able to use lavender and purification exactly like we would have done if we had bite marks. If we had bite marks or splinters, it would do the same thing with us. And I'm sure she diluted this uh, for pro appropriate ratios as well. I absolutely love this lady's slide. I think it's beautiful. Uh, horses are known to can be to, uh, are known to be really you know skittish sometimes. So these are our three most I think popular oils for anxiety and oils to calm, Valor, Lavender, and Stress Away. Stress Away is my favorite oil in the whole entire world. These oils will relax, soothe, and restore her confidence and calmness. An ideal combination of oils to help the horse who is anxious, nervous, or unconfident. Uh, now this was a specific testimonial. This lady had horses, but I've also heard numerous successful stories on dogs and cats as well. Valor to instill confidence, calmness, courage, and to help with alignment. Two drops on each of the bulbs, pole, top line, and along the spine, um, and allow them to inhale too, so that you can take the oils that are in your hands and put it over their, their nose and their snout. Lavender to calm, soothe, relax, and bounce, both physically and emotionally. Inhale and rub around the jaws and down the neck. And again, stress away, which reduces mental rigidity and restores equilibrium. I love that one and I have to hide it from my husband. Uh -huh. And we actually used those on my daughter when we went horseback riding. 
because I've been told that horses can sense the fear a little bit. And it was pretty amazing to watch my four and three year old love horseback riding. That was a really neat experience. And when you're wearing it, you're benefiting the horses as well. I love this picture of this horse. That just made me laugh. But everyone needs a little peace and calming. So my three year old needs some peace and calming. I need some peace and calming every once in a while. And even our animal uses need some peace and calming. So this is a quote from one of our team members in Texas. A friend suggested that I use peace and calming when I load my horses in the trailer to keep them from bucking and panicking. So as crazy as it sounded, I put a couple drops on my hands, rubbed it around, and petted their nose area. I was amazed there was no bucking or anxiety then or any time I've used it. Uh, pretty amazing that just something as simple and as peace and calming prevents it every, every time from here on out using it. It's also great to diffuse during storms or for animals with separation anxiety. Young Living's home diffuser turns off when it runs out of water, which is about two to three hours from starting it. And so if you're gonna be gone, you know, running errands for three, four hours, having that diffusing in the house and knowing that it's automatically gonna shut off can really help to keep those animals calm. I remember one 4th of July, our dog jumped through our bedroom window because they were so scared of the fireworks. And I read several testimonials of people diffusing peace and calming on 4th of July. <laughs> My friend Teresa does. She used peace and calming on their on their dogs for Fourth of July, and they were calm as ice. Wow, Sarah said that uh, the same lady diffused peace and calming on Fourth of July, and that the animals were oblivious to the fireworks and totally calm. So this is a a great oil for all, and diffusing it will help you as well. This was a pretty amazing story to me. Lemongrass to the rescue. Abby, my seven-year-old Sheltie, couldn't get up, so we rushed her to the vet. After her exam and x-ray, we were told that the tendons and ligaments holding her right kneecap in place were torn, causing her kneecap to slip. She would need surgery to correct it. The vet gave her anti-inflammatory medications and said to give it to her for a week and bring her back and he would schedule surgery. I started using lemongrass on her knee and leg three times a day, massaging in well and wrapped in an ace bandage all night. After three days, she was up running around. After a week, we took her back to the vet for a follow-up. He couldn't believe she was walking as well as she was. He said the anti-inflammatory pills really worked well. I handed him the bottle of pills and told him that I hadn't used them. He wanted to know what I did, and I told him that I had used YL lemongrass essential oil. He x-rayed her knee again and could see where the tendons and ligaments were healing. The vet couldn't believe the change between the two x-rays. No surgery thanks to lemongrass. Lemongrass became Abby's oil. Every time I would open the bottle, she would come running and lay down for me to rub her with it. So I had to include that testimonial because that's pretty powerful. Uh, and, you know, she had lemongrass on hand. You know, it says right away that she started using it. So in our situation, if, you know, that happened to one of us, we'd probably use Panaway or Peppermint if we had that on hand. But God allowed the oils that she had on hand to work for what they needed. And lemongrass is a great anti-inflammatory. So definitely one you want to have on hand because you cannot plan for these types of accidents. So I got to attend convention this year in Salt Lake City, Utah with about 6,000 other people and they announced the new products. And one of the new product lines was oils just for animals. The Animal Sense Oils. Gary Young has a huge heart, uh, so much so that he spent time and energy and money investing in what oil specifically to use on your little furry creatures and your big furry creatures. So his heart is absolutely phenomenal. So this collection is six oils, Puri Clean, Menwell, Paragize, Infect Away, Repel Aroma, and Tea Away. I love that the titles pretty much explain what they do. Uh, at convention this summer, they also came out with a KidSense line that had very similar titles so that the kids could, could learn what to do with it. And these directions came right from Young Living's website. So they tell you exactly how to use them uh, and exactly where to use them for what things. So the Pure Clean would do a lot of the same things as our Purification would or our Melaleuca. Mend Well, uh, again, very similar for cuts, scrapes, bruises. Paragize for parasites instead of Digize, which they have for us. Infect away, again the repel aroma, and tea away. Um, tea away, I believe, stands for trauma away. 
So add one drop behind each ear to calm during times of grief or agitation. Diffuse for 30 minutes, three times a day to support positive emotional perseverance. And then again, the disclosure to be sure to follow the dilution ratios. So Tremble Away can be used very similar to the Peace and Calming or the Lavender, Stress Away, and Valor. So these are 5 ml or 15, no, 15 ml bottles. I think they're 15 ml bottles. So those are our Animal Sense oils. We also have our Animal Sense ointment. Dr. Melissa Shelton says this ointment is by far one of my favorite products. This ointment is so multi-use. Uh, this product I think is phenomenal to have on hand for, your, for kids. Uh, we use it for every scrape, bruise, cut, open sore, laceration, wound in our house. Seals and disinfect wounds, incisions and lacerations. Additional oils can be mixed in to make a super powered custom application and it will speed the healing of wounds. When applied to the nose, it results in calming effects. So this is a very large container. I wish I had it here. It's six ounces. Uh, so it's about this big and it goes a very long way. And again, you can't plan for these types of things. So another great item to have on hand. I was reading about the, the Pure Clean oil for animals and they said that adding that to the Animal Sense ointment will make it even, um, even powerful to heal and disinfect. And again, a story. My dog had a small bump on the inside of his ear which started to grow big overnight. Following the suggestion of a friend, I used Animal Sense and started to apply it three times a day on the affected area until it began to scab over. For two weeks, I washed the scab off with soap and cotton, then reapplied the ointment. Although he wasn't a huge fan of this process, he was a gracious patient, and now his bump is pretty much gone. This saved me a huge vet bill and made me a huge fan of Young Living Essential Oils yet again. One thing that I noticed in all of these testimonials is they didn't just apply something once and say, oh, it didn't work and go to the vet. Most of these testimonials, it was three times a day for days and even after they saw improvement. So three times a day um, until it had began to scab over, but then down here she says she used it until it completely went away. And so it's important to reapply and to reapply. Uh, so, and if something's not working, switch it up, pick a different oil. But again, uh, you know, when you take an antibiotic, they don't give you one day of an antibiotic. They give you 10 to 14 days of an antibiotic, and they say to use until it's all gone, no matter how you're feeling. So it's the same when treating ourselves and our animals. Use until the area that you were working with is all better and all healed. And they even have a shampoo just for animals. So again, the shampoo that you're using that has warnings to not be taken internally or to keep out of reach of the small animals and the small pets, it's going through the bloodstream. So it's important to have the animal scent shampoo that they can dump it out and drink and lick uh, cleans all types of animal fur and hair conditions, repels insects, protect the skin and clothes, rids hair of lice, ticks, and other insects. Um, and again, it's safe and natural and effective, leaves the coat shining, and it smells good. I remember hating having to wash my bat or wash my dogs because it smelled gross. So it's really nice to have a product that's benefiting them and you. This smells good and it's effective. I thought this was a cute little story because it's written from the perspective of the dog. So he says, the only time I have ever had a flea or tick was when my family lived in a hotel after a house fire. When we ran out of my animal scent shampoo, mommy used some cheap pet shampoo from the store. The next week I had a tick on my head. Mommy made a rush order for more animal scent shampoo and I have never had a flea or tick since. We live on a river and I play in the yard all day long. No fleas or ticks for me. Brody the dog. <laughs> so that looks like a pretty calm dog for being wet. Uh, I think that that's definitely a benefit to the animal sh shampoo. And I'm sure she probably used some lavender or some peace and calming. Because I remember that bathing my dogs was not the calmest of, of situations. These Animal Sense products are in a nice collection for you. So you can get a small or a large, and the difference is in, is in the size of animal it's for. So the large has 64 ounces of shampoo. I am guessing this is for a horse <laughs> or a mighty large dog. 
uh, or multiple dogs. And the small has an eight ounce bottle of shampoo. And the small has one Repel Aroma spray, which is the tall spray bottle that you see there. And the large has two of those bottles. All, the kit also comes with six spray bottles. So back in the first slide when we were talking about how to treat an injured animal, and it said to put oils in a spray bottle and spray to affected area, they provided the spray bottles with you. And they also come with rollerball filaments. So it's really nice to be able to put a rollerball on the oils because then you can just roll it on to the area. Um, again, that's going to be if the dilution ratios are proper, but it comes with everything you need in this collection. They are 15 ml bottles, as well as directions. So the Repel Aroma spray, the big bottle, can be used a lot like how I said the Thieves Household Cleaner. When sprayed on the cage or the area, it can keep the bugs away and the ticks away. It can be used much in the same way and comes in the same size bottle. And then, of course, it comes with our Animal Sense ointment, because you cannot have animals without your Animal Sense ointment. You cannot have kids without your Animal Sense ointment. That is a must have for everyone to have on hand. So these two kits were announced at convention last year and they are available in the catalog. So we've decided that it is not safe uh, to use products that can't be ingested on your animals. And we've decided that we want to keep their little bodies health and protected and so hopefully you've decided that you want to partake in your healthy pet plan. So step one is going to be to enroll to receive your whole cell member. A lot of you are whole cell members already and are seeing how wonderfully and magically the oils work. But if you are not to be a whole cell member, there you have to buy the premium starter kit. Every oil mentioned with the exception of lemongrass is included in our premium starter kit. Thieves, Valor, Peppermint, Lavender, Panaway, Purification, Peace and Calming, Frankincense, Lemon, Joy, and Stress Away. So all the oils that you need to have on hand to protect your animals, to help with arthritis and anxiety, are provided for you in this kit. As well as a diffuser, and it's the home diffuser, which I said shuts off when it runs out of water out of, after about two to three hours. And this gets you the 24% discount on all future Young Living products. So this is your whole cell membership. You also get sample packets and again a roller ball for your stress away. I suggest you keep that for you <laughs> because that is a phenomenal oil. And your whole cell membership lasts a lifetime as long as you spend $50 a year. And if not, it just goes away. This is a $300 value for $150. Our premium starter kit is a phenomenal price. And when you get the premium starter kit, we will gift you with a quick reference guide for using essential oils because we don't expect you to remember everything that we've said and to know how to use them right away. After you've become, not after, this is a recap of the oils included in the premium starter kit. Again, your frankincense, lemon, lavender, peppermint, panaway, peace and calming, purification, thieves, and valor. These, can, these are your foundation for anything that you are going to need to deal with in your home. And I believe this image was also posted in the event for today's class. So that you can read that, print that, keep it up in your pet medicine cabinet, throw out the harmful toxins and replace with this Everyday Oils Premium Starter Kit. Step two to your healthy pet plan is going to be to enroll with Essential Rewards. So most of us are on Essential Rewards because we like free product. So Essential Rewards, you earn 10, 15, or 20% back in free product on all of your monthly orders. The first six months, it's 10%, then it's 15%, and then once you've been a member longer than a year on Essential Rewards, it's 20%. So on every monthly purchase, I'm getting 20% back in free product. That is a lot of free product. <laughs> um, I get reduced shipping, and they have collections that are discounted on essential rewards. So I can save a lot of money this way and I can plan to be um, prepared to deal with my animals and my kids and my family rather than having unexpe unexpected vet bills or urgent care bills. Never run out of products to ensure your healthy pet plan is a success. 
So once Anna has sent your rewards, you will want to buy the new Animal Sense collection because that was made especially for your furry creatures. These are the resources I said that I used. Essential Oils and Pets by Dr. Mary Hess. The Animal Desk Reference and Know That for My Pet. The Animal Desk Reference is a book you are going to want to have on hand. It is a must if you have animals and you intend on treating them with essential oils. Because like I said, the dilution ratios are in these books and the Vitaflex points and cautions. I am not a vet. I cannot tell you uh, how to treat your animal. I can just share with you stories of what's worked for other people and hope and pray that they work the same for your animals based on the huge amounts of science behind it. So, let me say something. so that wraps up our Animal Sense Oils Are For Pets class. This is our sixth August Mania class and our last one except for that we have a special exciting presentation next Thursday. Uh, I am very happy to say that I have been sharing Young Levine for 18 months now and I am making more than I could have been making at a part-time job. I am able to get these products for free and I am blessing others and my family. I'm financially taking care of my family as well as physically and emotionally taking care of my family and we want you to do the same. So next Thursday night at 6.30, we are going to have an opportunity meeting. We're going to share with you the possibilities that you can go do with Young Living. And we're going to share with you how you can bless your family and bless your neighbors and those around you. And we really want you to participate in that so that you can experience financial freedom and health freedom. And so that your animals can be happy and healthy too. So please join us next Thursday at 6.30 for that. That's all. Yeah.